Opioids aren't the only pain management options available to patients. One strategy is alternating acetaminophen and ibuprofen. This is pretty common, Jamie Allen, Ph.D., Assistant Professor of Pharmacology and Toxicology at Michigan State University, tells very well. Reassuring a patient and giving them a recovery timeline can be beneficial. Letting patients know how long to anticipate the pain can be really helpful, Williams says. Intramuscular injections, oral anti-inflammatories, and topical treatments, including ice, can help, too, he says. Nerve blocks and epidurals can reduce pain, Sohn says. However, they're not cheap. These alternatives can be very costly and sometimes risky, she says. Therefore, being able to target the right treatment to the right patients is not only important to reduce opioid use, but also to ensure that patients receive the treatment that is right for them. Ultimately, Sohn says, the goal is to give patients a more tailored pain management plan. Many people have become users and overusers of pain medications after surgery, and we want to help reduce that burden for patients, their families, and society at large, she says. As physicians, we want to be able to get the right treatments for the right patients and help our colleagues to make the right decisions. Sohn says her current model is only the beginning she and her team plan to continue perfecting the algorithm.